I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could greet ya. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Nate Triple O G and yo, this is the second episode of Sneaker Talk. Yeah, and some things that I wanted to talk about today, well, the major thing is uh, that I want to talk about today is these Just Dines that's coming out. You know, the Just Dine 312, I believe is the name of the shoe. Yo, 312 is like the area code in Chicago. It's like the main area code. Originally, it was 773 if you, you know, you stayed on the south side or up north. And then if you stay downtown, we associated that with like 312. You know, pretty much it's just Chicago's area code before all these other things. You know, if you had an original 773 number, you know what I mean, you a real one. You know what I'm saying? And not that 708 garbage. Anyway, that's besides the point. Let's not get into that. What I want to talk about is the shoe itself. Are you guys feeling the shoe? Here's a picture of the shoe. I'll try to leave that up as long as I can while we talk about it. Now, I've seen some videos where... You know, um, you know, originally when we first saw images of the shoe, like the image was just like, just like messed up. Everybody was talking about it because it was like scrunched up. And then even, you know, the word got back to Don C and he actually, you know, commented on it. Like, yo, we need, that's just, they out here trying to kill me with these bogus pictures. I think he put that in his Insta story. You know what I mean? And you know, you can see that that was affecting the hype of the shoe, the hype of the brand. And and that's interesting to me, you know, that in social media, you know, it actually uh, gets back to those curators and those influencers that make them actually have to respond and definitely like, you know, to try to defend their product or whatever design that they're making. Now, with this 312, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the shoe is not for me. I don't really agree with the meshing. Of, of like three different shoes. I know it has the Jordan 1s, the Jordan 3s, and I believe like this Air Force, some Force model. I can't remember exactly what model it was with that strap, you know what I mean? So th that's the thing. And me personally, you know, Just Dine, he also did the Air Force 1. Let's put that picture up right now. So we're gonna talk about that. So he did that Air Force 1 when he did the whole Air Force 1 collaboration and everything uh, with, with, you know, Travis Scott, Acronym, they brought the Rockefeller ones back, and you know, I obviously just dying. He had his pair, you know, and he messed those shoes up again. Now, I like the uh, he had the reptile on, I believe it was the strap, and then he had that gold buckle, you know. So, that reptile, you know, that's something that Don C is like known for, obviously, when he was doing the hats, um, you know, the Don C hats or whatever, you know, which he got the inspiration from another Chicago thing. Is like the buck 50s he even says it in this video here that i'll put in i'll put a little clip yeah well like when i was a shorty where i got the idea from it was like it was called buck 50 hats and people would take like a team hat and put like fake snake skin on the bill and glue it on the button and glue it on the back snap and so i just tried to like revamp that idea and actually deconstruct the hat. So it's a way more extensive process than I do, than the process that inspired the idea. But e even with that, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That's that's his that's his thing, you know what I mean? That's him. That's what we know Don C for, like bringing back that hood classic, but actually using the real Python materials. You know what I mean? And just like, you know, like bringing that back with like a different quality, like a better quality. And with this shoe here, uh, me personally, I don't, I don't see the quality. And I'm not just like riding off the wave that everybody said, oh, it's trash because we saw those first pictures, you know? And here's Don C even talking about that, you know what I mean? Really, we just need like visual messaging. Cause hopefully when people just see them, they like, oh, them look cold as hell, <laughs> get it, grab them. And I never seen them before. So. Yeah. That's all, just good ass pictures, really good pics. Got you. <laughs> so if you want me to style, call. But it's like, I just, I feel, I feel like, you know, it could, it could have been more original. You know, I, I don't, from Don C, you know, if he's not going to do one silhouette, you know what I mean? I don't want to mesh up from him. You know what I'm saying? That's not like true to him. And, and, and who am I to say? 
that that's not true to Don C. I, I don't know Don C. You know, I've met him once or twice. You know what I mean? But it was like a high and by. He walked in, he signed something. You know, well, not for me, for my friend. But, you know, just there, just saying, what's up? That's it. I met him at SneakerCon like a long time ago when SneakerCon in Chicago used to be in Schaumburg. I was like, you ain't got no Yeezys, though. He was like, I ain't. I was like, yeah, I was like, you ain't got no Yeezys. He's like, I know, I need them. I ain't got no Yeezys. I was like, what are Yeezys at? He's like, I don't know. Hey, hey, you know, whatever. Bro, you know, but anyway, like, I just feel like John C can do a lot better. I feel like he could do a lot better, you know, with the design. I don't I don't know. I don't know why I feel that way. I just feel like, you know, you go you you do those, you do your just dime tools, the Chanel bag or whatever. And then you got your just dime, the, the just dime Air Force, I mean not I mean the just dime ones, the Jordan ones. You know what I mean? So you did the ones, you did the tools. You know, with this silhouette, and if you get, they giving you your own model, man. You know, Sean Witherspoon just did a mesh up. You know what I mean? With the uh, the Air Max. You know what I mean? But you're better than that, bro. Like you gotta be, man. You you representing the crib. You know what I'm saying? You representing the go. You know what I mean? And I I just know that, you know, you got. You, what you come from, the designers that you come from, the designers that you are around, you know I mean, you, you, you came up with Kanye, you came up with Virgil, you know what I'm saying, Fonsworth, you know what I mean, you came up, you know what I mean, with just like these stylish motherfuckers and you just, you swagged out anyway, I never forget the first time I saw you, you know what I'm saying, you had the, the clay, the clay Jordan 6s on, the, I think the green ones with the, with the shark on the back, the, uh, Whatever that rapper is, that, that, you know, whatever the fuck his name was, I can't remember that rapper name, cause trash. But anyway, you had them J's on, them motherfuckers was fire, and you had that gold chain, I ain't never seen gold shine so bright, no diamonds, just gold, man, just shining on us, you know what I mean? And that's a Chicago thing, so when you repping the crib, man, you just gotta, you, you, you got two hits under your belt, bro. I just don't see, like, you hitting a brick like this, and... Me personally, I just think this is a brick, you know what I'm saying? Insert my man. Oh, oh man, I don't like when that shit just be a brick. Like, just a brick? Yeah, yeah. You better than that, bro. And I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. But anyway, those are my opinions. I really would like to know, what do you guys think? Do you believe that the Jordan, you know, the Don C312 Legacy, I believe that's the name of the shoe, is that, is it trash? You know what I mean? Am I saying it's trash because everybody else saying it's trash? Or, you know, are you feeling the shoe? You know, is it going to take a minute to catch on? The the pair that I am feeling, though, like the first pair I saw, they just like, I'm like, damn, you know, those those hit. You know what I mean? And that was that, that green pair. You know, that's a loud shoe. That's not the shoe that you're going to be wearing that much. Man. But it hit. It's something about it. Just made me like, hmm, that, that hit. You know what I mean? So maybe it's the colorways. Um, if I had to pick a colorways, um, that colorway and then that all black colorway, that black and white colorway, if I had to buy a pair, those are the pairs that I would buy. I'm going to buy pairs anyway, not only to review for the channel, but pretty much because he's from the crib. So I'm going to buy my pairs. Uh, they're not that much. I believe they're 160. Um, I believe that if, if even if he's not making a million pairs, I believe that the shoe will be easy to get, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe that they will be limited, you know what I mean? I think he will, the shoe will be limited. I don't think it's gonna be mass produced, you know, cause they wanna try to, I believe Nike brand will try to like, you know, build up some type of hype for the shoe because it was tore down when those pictures leaked and you know, that sucks. So do you guys think like with leaked pictures, did that ruin? you know, the rollout for this shoe. Yeah, they push a T, you know, the rollout for this shoe via a story of out of Dodd. You know what I'm saying? Just fuck up some shit. Anyway, I would love to know what you guys think. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on this video. Make sure you ring the hell out of that notification bell. Keep watching my videos. We're almost at 200 subscribers. As soon as we get to 250, we will be doing another giveaway. Um, we can discuss what that's gonna be. Yo, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for rocking with your kid. I'll holler at you guys next time. Peace. No time soon.